everybody, I'm Eric. Welcome to my channel, Everyday Eric. I have to yell because my iPhone is out the door of my conference room. Today is a very special day. I've been a Star Wars fan since 1977 and collecting toys ever since. This is a dream come true. Jabba the Hutt sail barge from Hasbro, the Katana, or the three and three quarter inch action figure line. I'm gonna be showing you everything in this box and how it works. I'm gonna be taking all my toys, setting them up next to this thing, we're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm gonna be here all night long. That's okay. If you're new here to my channel, please subscribe. We would love to have you. Ring the bell for notifications. I answer all my comments. Leave a comment. Let's get a dialogue going. And if you like what I'm doing here, a thumbs up. That would be amazing. All right, without further delay, let's get cracking. All right, let's take a closer look at HasLab Jabba's Sail Barge. Weighing in over 33 pounds. It's heavy. My box has some dents, some dings. We'll see if that's a problem. It's a long box, over 53 inches long, 17 by 18. Inside the first box is a second box. The dents don't look as bad here, and they added this strip so when you use the knife, you don't scratch the very pretty box with the photos. The katana, I never knew it was called that, includes yak face. I love the photography here. Definitely a throwback to all the vintage toys we used to get. Pretty cool stuff. Yak Face and the HasLab logo. All right, there's a little story down below. Jabba the Hutt valued money and power and enjoyed showing off just how much he had of both. The Katana, his luxury sail barge, was among the crime lord's most extravagant purchases. A massive transport that carried up to 500 passengers, maintained a crew of 26, and was outfitted with space for live music and entertainment. Very good, very good. We have a cockpit. We have the throne room. Yeah, pretty cool. Is that the jail? Yeah, we have the jail. We're going to take a look at all of these things in just a bit. There's little doorways for people to peek out of. And hatches that the goons can come out of. Bad idea taking on Luke Skywalker. And a kitchen. Can cook up some fresh froggies. And an armory. And here's like a little retro picture. All the old toys used to have this. Very cool. All right, right away when I pull out the side of the box, this foam, there's Yak Face. He has a collector's coin. This is a special Yak Face. It comes with a cup. I don't think the other one came with a cup and a coin. On the back of the box, there's a little story. One of Jabba the Hutt's top agents. Very little is known about the mysterious Sail Mare or his specific connection to the crime lord. He could often be found hanging out in Jabba's desert palace, but was for the most part a very secretive individual. A member of the Yarkora species, Sail Mare was particularly adept at getting information out of people and ingratiating himself with the likes of Jabba and other influential beings in power. There's a coin down below that says a little bit about Yak Face, a creature with long facial hair wearing a furry mantle seen in Jabba's throne room and sail barge. Okay, and on the other end is Jabba the Hutt. Pull him right out, he's in the plastic bag, looking pretty cool. So that's the new one, and the one in the back is the Walmart one with the squishy belly and the uh, bendable tail that came with the throne. Yeah, that was my go-to one, but I gotta tell you, the new one is pretty good. Might be my new favorite. I think the eyes are better. There's just a nice uh, wash and dark paint to bring out all his wrinkles. Yeah, it looks a lot better. I like his eyes better, too. Hasbro needs to release this just by itself. I need to pick up some extra Job of the Hut figures. Now, this tail is not bendy. There is a little bit of give if you press, so it's not completely hard. Uh, there is swivel at the waist, if you want to call that his waist. Uh, there's rotation, good rotation at the shoulder. He can lift his arm pretty high. Ball joint at the elbow, good range of motion. Rotation at the wrist and a hinge. And the hands are sculpted very well, where he can hold things. So, pretty excellent figure here. I really like it. Yeah, and that paint goes all the way around the body. Really brings out the sculpt. And uh, it's going to be hard to beat this guy. This could be the best one. I really like it. 
and paint goes along the back too so it's a fully painted figure okay the moment has arrived we're gonna lower a flap lift the lid and voila the job of the hut sail barge looking very good we also have a box of accessories i know sails fins guns legs all kinds of good stuff here cloth sails excellent all right so the instructions are attached to one of these foam ends that everyday eric threw in the garbage outside i had to go get it back and apparently I opened up the box incorrectly. I did not have a buddy as suggested. We're gonna put on the fins, the legs, the antenna first. Seems simple enough. There are the legs and the antenna. I put the barge on my office chair so I could get underneath it. There's the first antenna, pretty easy. And the legs, they just snap in. I guess they are removable as well. And on the back, we have three soft little antenna. These things do want to come out, so I think it would be easy to lose these and very difficult to replace, so look out. There are two more antenna. They can be uh, put in the front there. They're made out of soft rubber, so they don't snap off. And there are the two fins toward the back. They click in, and there is some rotation. We have two railing guns and a big main deck gun. The railing guns can be put anywhere you want. There are holes, various places in the railing, so you can adjust those to your liking. I'm just blown away by the detail on this thing. I mean, I love the gold cables. Look at the deck. I mean, the wear, the patina, the rust on the grate. Look at these doors. Look at the wear, the silver wear. Inside and out. Staircase looks great. I don't know. I like the animal heads here, little creature heads everywhere. There's the big main deck gun. Just love this thing. There's the engine, I suppose. Leia shoots that and blows up the barge. Spoiler alert. And the second railing gun, cool. All right, onto the barge sails. They look a little more complicated. We have these plastic, I don't know, rails, ribs. I love the detail here on the poles. Look, it's like a speaker, so Jabba can bark orders at people. I think I got this together correctly. And there is a right way to put it. See, one side is longer than the other, so you want to line up the sail the right way. The thing looks legitimate, looks real. Very cool. All right, well, the big sails, they just go into the barge and it says they are removable. Once you put them in, they don't need to stay in. So yeah, looking like a barge, looking pretty good. Absolutely beautiful. Good job, Hasbro. I'll just give you some shots of the exterior and then we'll move things inside. Let's move on to the features the barge has to offer. Let's take a look at panel number one. Removes to reveal the cockpit with all this insane detail and paint. We have like a gold pair of handlebars that uh, can control the barge and gold seats. They do not move, they do not rotate. And we have display screens that have what appears to be stickers and they are pre-applied. And there's the jail through the door. panel has a lot of detail on the inside as well. All right, let's move on to reveal panel number two and the jail. Lots of rust, lots of patina, very intimidating. Yeah, pretty scary. Looking great. All right, panel number three reveals the armory to the right and the kitchen to the left. And you can access the jail door through the kitchen pull and it opens up to reveal the hammerhead skeleton. We'll be taking a closer look at the jail in just a bit, but yeah, it's pretty scary in there. Now I couldn't get the hammerhead to come out. I think he is attached. All right, in the kitchen, we have very soft plastic for the nozzles and the frogs. 
So none of that will break off or snap. And here's the armory. Got some cool grates. You can stick weapons in there. And uh, yeah, this is a smuggler's hatch. It lip lifts up and you can put figures in there, whatever you want. Moving further into the armory, you can put weapons on the walls. Just rest them on those horns. Those axes already on the walls, those are not removable. The next feature is this button. When you press it, you get a trap door that leads right to the jail. You also get to add these chains into the walls of the jail. Really completes the look and they are real chains. Removing the next panel, we get Jabba's throne area. So I will be doing a separate video with all the figures in the barge. Please check out the link in the description below. It'll be the Battle of the Sarlacc Pit. I always wondered what that was. Look, it's a bronze statue of a Rancor. It's like I'm actually in the movie and I get to finally tour the barge on my own. And there is his microphone. You can pull that out. The cable is very soft. So it comes out pretty far. So 3PO can use it. And his throne rocks back and forth. And all these little windows open up. There's a relief sculpture there. I always saw that in the movie and wondered what it was. It looks like Jabba and his crew and the Gamorrean guard head made in bronze. All right, the last panel just sort of opens up the throne room a little bit more. I just love all the detail here, that control panel. And again, you can open up all these little windows from the outside. And uh, I love what they did on the inside of this panel. There's a statue of a little alien. So on the railing here, it comes off just like it does in the movie where R2-D2 and C-3PO fall off the sail barge. Cool feature. I just love this door again. Not only does that open, but those two doors open as well. All right, well, there's the big Falcon looking not so big anymore compared to the new, bigger Jabba the Hutt sail barge. All right, so what's the verdict? I absolutely love this thing. The size, the scale, the details, the paint applications, the cloth sails. Ah, oh, it looks awesome. When I got that thing out of the box, I thought I was getting a movie prop, a piece of movie history. Is it worth it at $500? Yes, I think it is. It had to have been a heck of a lot of money to ship this thing. I got to use PayPal. I got to sell old junk. You know, collectibles I care less about, and upgrade. Awesome. It was easy to assemble. It was packed well. Nothing broke. Thank the maker. Uh, Yak Face had some blemishes, but I don't care much about that. I am super excited about the future of HasLab. They have my attention, and they probably have my wallet. All right, thank you everybody for watching. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe. Please leave a comment. I answer all my comments. Ring the bell for notifications. I'm posting videos all the time. All right, as we say here, good night. And as always, I will see you on the new.